So now let's talk about our products that I mentioned also before. So, and I want to demonstrate how to put on and the amount of sunscreens. So as I said here, I have this product that I've used before. And, and since these have absorbers rather than reflectors uh, in as ingredients, I tend now not to use this, even though it's an SPF 85, but, um, what about this is it's great because when you apply it on i'm actually gonna apply it right now and i don't wear any makeup so on my skin a little bit on the eyes but it's when you apply it on it applies very smoothly and it has a very light and creamy finish and it absorbs as you can see very quickly very brief very quickly and and also give you a little bit of shine uh, just very very light and it's just just very creamy and nice it's like a lightweight feel as I also say in the front that's really true the downside of this is also please make sure you wash your hands after you put some sunscreen on from this product because when it gets into when you do your makeup afterwards and when it gets you, in your eye, it burns like hell. So please be careful for that. So what I'm using now is actually the baby version of the Neutrogena and has a broad spectrum and is base PF 60. And this contains a sun blocker, which are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And what's great about this is when, and you will see it has a harder way of actually absorbing and which makes sense because of some blocker right from the outside but also it gives a nice matte finish and i'm going to apply this also you can see the difference so it takes longer time to actually to absorb so now i'm going to show you how you would put on and how much you would put on sun cream so I'm going to show you here so there's like a lot I'm going down so I'm just doing this with around my eyes And then go down to the chest. Uh, I'm not using this, as I said, because if it goes into your eyes, it can burn. I have not tried this one yet out because I don't want not gonna try on if this goes into your eye. What happens? Because I'm gonna wash my hands after this anyway. So, but I'm trying to keep it out just around my eyes. So when when I'm wearing sunglasses anyway, it will protect me there. So I have that all on. So, and then I go down to the chest, of course, if you have a larger area, you will cover that. And uh, for the men, I highly, highly encourage you, many people forget that, uh, please also uh, protect your ears, right? Particularly for men, because the ears are more open. And also for men, the neck, the neck is very important. Just make sure that uh, your neck is protected also uh, what also burns a lot as you can see with this it gives you like a white kind of lighter finish but make sure you just make sure that it really absorbs well and then you're good to go and what really burns a lot also are the shoulders particularly for me so I um, definitely put on the shoulders I'm going to show you like how I do this here, thank you so much. And make sure you don't forget your hands. Many people tend to forget their hands and those are the places that you can really 
burn a lot and you want to get in so as you can see here it really takes a time to you have to really rub in a lot to make sure and also make sure you cover the back of your shoulders and the inside and those are and there you go you have really absorbed a lot okay if you prefer a organic version of all these products there's one I can recommend to you is from Badger and I have here the sports version I have used this also last year this has completely organic actually 94% uh, of the ingredients are organic and that has a uncoated zinc oxide as ingredients as a sun blocker too they are also broad spectrum sunscreens but uh, they only sell the SPF factors from 30 to 35 maximum 35 and I have used this uh, not the sport version but the normal version of the exact the same last year but uh, and I also this and the beach and what I am recommend to you for this is you have to reapply it more often and Perhaps it's not such a great idea to use it at the beach because um, it has only natural ingredients such as sunflower oil, jojoba oil, beeswax and sunflower vitamin E and it's very oily so when you put it on it just it's very oily and your hands are oily and sticks everywhere but it's a great protection also sunblock too because it's also very organic but if you are for daily use, I highly recommend this. But for beach, probably you have to reapply very, very, very often because it gives me a feeling that after a while, it kind of I, I feel like I'm burning. So maybe it's also because the SPF factor is 35 only instead of having you know 70 or 80. And so for the beach, I'm not really sure if you really under the sun so much, then maybe it's not a good idea exactly. But oh well. Uh, and one thing is also that I uh, you need to be aware of with this product is that you need to shake this before you use it because it's very oily and it tends when it sits for a while it tends to the oil separates from the sunscreen and then when you put it on just the oil comes out so make sure you uh, shake this well before I use it. So now I'm gonna apply this on my arm, on one side of my arm. As you can see, I've used little from this product because you will see that it is so heavy and greasy as you can see so it will take also time to really absorb into your skin don't forget your hands so as you can see you will need to rub a lot and last the product last year I've used had a lot of nutty smell this one is unscented and it really doesn't smell at all and this is great for daily use as I mentioned before so it really takes a little time but it's actually a great texture on your skin but and also make sure as I mentioned before use the back of your shoulder and also definitely use on your chest as well and the chest area on your back of of course so as you can see it really takes a little time to get absorbed but it is all natural all organic 100% natural 94% organic product so and if you use this also on your face uh, you will need to rub in a lot but I'm also not sure about if it clogs the pore or not
but it is great for your body. But as I mentioned before, you will need to reapply this more often. Definitely, I would recommend to apply it after you come out from this to see if you use it at the beach. Or if for daily use, it's great. Uh, I will encourage you to wear that as well. Uh, but again, as you can see, you can have, still have to rub in. Uh, but it's, um, it's a great product because it's all organic. So I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please share them with others. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any comments, write down below. And thank you so much. Have a nice summer. And I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. So we hope this was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more cancer videos. And once you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell so that you can be informed when we publish our new video. Thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next episode. Take care.